In this proof we are going to look at the F is equal to QVB formula. The letters inside of the formula, the F stands for the force that a current carrying wire would experience inside of a, or of a magnetic field. The Q is the amount of charge that is flowing inside of the wire. Uh, the V is the velocity that the charge is moving at in meters per second and the B stands for the magnetic flux density uh, measured in Teslas. To begin this proof we will start off with another formula that gives us the force of a current carrying wire uh, inside of a magnetic field and this is related to Fleming's left hand rule. This formula says that the force that the wire experiences F is equal to the magnetic flux density in Teslas, so that's B, multiplied by the current, multiplied by the length of the wire. I is the current and L is the length. We then remember that the current is just charge divided by time, so the amount of charge that goes by a particular point in a circuit, which is Q, divided by the time. We substitute that into our formula, so we have the force on the wire is the magnetic flux density, multiplied by Q divided by time. We still have that being multiplied by the length. What we can then do is instead of having the charge, the Q divided by the time, we can move the T over so that it's underneath the length of the wire. So we have the force is equal to the magnetic flux density multiplied by the charge but now we have the length that the charge has traveled inside of the wire which is L divided by time and we should remember that distance or length divided by time is just velocity so velocity is length or the distance covered by the charge in a certain length of time measured in seconds so what we then have is the force is equal to the magnetic flux density B multiplied by the charge multiplied by the velocity of the uh, of the charges and we can change that around it doesn't matter what order we multiply things in so our final part of this proof is that F the force is equal to Q the charge multiplied by the velocity multiplied by the magnetic flux density and that is the proof finished